calculate AMC 12A from 2024. Problem number six. The product of three integers is 60. What is the least possible positive sum of the three integers? We want to minimize A plus B plus C. Well, given these questions, I think it's often helpful to prime factorize the number since that's the only thing we could really do at this point. Um, so 60 equals 2 times 30 equals 2 times 3 times 10, which is 2 times 3 times 2 times 5. So if you prime factorize this, this would be 1 times 2 to the power of 2 times 3 times 5, and this makes up 60. And A plus B plus C has to be the smallest number possible, and this number has to be positive, so greater than or equal to 0, so greater than 0. Um, we see that since there's three numbers, you can take advantage of the key fact that we can have two numbers being negative and the last number being positive, and um, that will give us a um, small sum, because if we have A, B, and C all being positive, then it's going to be quite big. So we should have like negative A, you know, negative B. It's just two numbers that are negative and one number that is positive. Okay, so that's a really good observation. Um, so now just, you know, play around these numbers and see if we could get a small number. If we let um, A equals 5, B equal, let's say, 4, which is 2 to the power of 2, that means C has to be equal to 3. Um, if we set uh, these two to be negative, 5 minus 4 minus 3, this is negative 2. So that's not good. We have to get a positive number. So this combination probably does not work. Um, what if we let, um, what if we let a, uh, a equal 1, b equal 10, that means c has to be 6. And we could let a and c be negative. So this, this could be, you know, negative 1, this could be negative 6. That way, a plus b plus c equals negative 1 plus 10 minus 6. This would be 3. Oh, so that is pretty small right away. So it's either A or B. Uh, can we ever get 2 here? I don't think so. I don't think you could ever get 2. Uh, but you could try to uh, play with some numbers a bit more. But let's just see. If we let A, let's say, equals 2, B equal 4. Oh, that does not work. Uh, let's say B equals 6. Then the last number has to be 5. So, you know, we can't let this all be positive or that's too big. If we let these two be negative, that means it's 6 minus 2 minus 5, which is negative 1, which is not positive. So, answer choice B. 3 is the smallest number that you can make.